One by one, two by two, three by three, Jesus call them by the number. One by one, one by one, two by two, three by three, Jesus call them by the number. One by one, two by two. Three by three, Jesus call him by the number. Pleasant good morning and welcome back to another morning devotion. Today you are here with none other than Sister Faith. And today I'll be talking to you, exalting to you about the topic, I'd rather have Jesus. So, what does it mean? It means that no matter what circumstances, you choose God. So, for an example, you cho- choosing God is I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be his than riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or land. Those examples shows us how we commit to God in different ways. So, as I said, those examples shows how we commit to God in different ways. But as like also for the last one, it says that I'd rather have Jesus than houses or land. So it's like you're choosing God over a house. Like for a carnal person, like someone who doesn't believe in God, there's like if they say, oh, you got to pick a hundred dollars or God. And they don't believe in God, so they're going to pick $100. But in life, $100 is it's not really a lot of money. It's really not going to get you nowhere, right? But God, he's going to give you, he's going to let your bread basket overflow, let your cup run over. In many different ways, like he gives you life. Like he's going to wake you up in the morning. And he, he will give you many different things than just $100. So... Many people see this in different ways, but as spiritual people, children of God, we must be able to pick God no matter what. So those examples, as I said, this example shows us how we commit to God in different ways. Another example is when we want a new, a new Nike Elite bag or the next Jordan Force or Jordans. But then God says, if you stay on a straight A narrow path. Follow my commandments. I will give you. I will give you. I will give you life. And. And I will give you anything you want. If it is of my will. So if it is of his will. And not your will. So that's where um, many people get confused. You must be able to follow God. And he will grant you anything. But it has to be of his will. Right. So. But if it is, so it has to be of God's will. So, I will choose God. So, I'm me personally, I'm choosing God. I don't know about you, but God, he has brought me through many trials and tribulations, many a dangerous troll and snare, where my life was almost gone and taken away before my, before my very own eyes. And I'm only 13. So, if I'm 13 and I could almost be cut off and gone in the next second, Something, anything could happen to you. So with that being said, ask God to continue blessing you. Continue keeping his light to shine upon you that no weapon formed against you and your family shall prosper. As I'm talking to you, I'm giving you reasons why to pick Jesus. Because it's not just, okay, I pick Jesus. You go to church, you believe in God. But are you really willing to commit your life for God? Are you willing to do what he says and not of other people? Showing him that you are committed and that you pick him over everybody else? Are you? Ouch. Right? So as I said, I will choose Jesus. Because when I, when, if I don't pick Jesus, with Jesus I have the breath of life. All my stuff. And he says that he will make a way for me. If I stay and do his commandments, he'll, he'll, he'll see me 
along the way where nobody else can. He'll be there for me. So that's why I choose Jesus. A scripture that talks about about you rather having Jesus is John 3, 15. And it says that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. What does John 3.15 mean? It means that the purpose of Jesus' death was to give eternal life. God's promise is for you, is for, is for anyone who would choose to believe on what Christ did on the cross was for them, which is why you should choose, the, choose Jesus. So, again, God... He shows us in many different ways why we should choose him. But it is up to you. Up to you, you and you. You yourself and I. To make that commitment. To make that last straw go on to God. Because when nobody is there for you, Jesus is there for you. That's why I pick him. And you got to choose what you are going to do. And as the scripture says that... That whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So when you, if you believe in God, he will grant you eternal life. Right? So with that being said, I will, um, those are the few words. I'm going to say a quick prayer and then I will close out. Eternal love, wise Father God. Thank you one more time again for for giving me the breath of life, Father God, that I'll be able to speak the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to your people, Father God. Father God, as I continue to do my devotions, and I'll continue saying, Speak, Lord, thy servant, hear it, Father God. And this time, as I'm the message, I, I am the messenger, Father God, I ask that for people who are receiving the message, that they were able to take it in the right way and not the wrong way, Father God. For as I said, that I'd rather have Jesus, Father God. Hopefully, I made them come onto you and not draw away from you, Father God. Father God, I ask that you continue blessing them, continue to shine your face upon them, Father God. Let the lights, let the light, let their light so shine, Father God, that they'll be able to see the glory inside of them, Father God. Father God, I ask that you God can keep and protect them in no other name but in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Thank you for watching this morning devotion. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 6 a.m. And if you miss it tomorrow, you'll get to watch it at any time. Bye.